This Saturday will mark one year since the fiery train derailment in East Palestine, where chemicals spilled into the soil and the air. Researchers swooped in to monitor the impact, and that includes an environmental expert at the University of Kentucky who wanted to track the health of people in the village and nearby. Chair of the Department of Epidemiology and Environmental Health at the University of Kentucky, Aaron Haynes, is back with us to go over the data and what they've gathered so far. Thank you for taking the time. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yes, you shared about launching this community health tracking study last year, not long after the derailment. What are some of the areas that you focused on with your participants? Yes, yeah, so the goals of our study were to establish a cohort of residents that we could monitor long term health impacts related to the derailment and also give the community an opportunity to express their concern about exposure and then ongoing health issues. So we've done this work um, alongside of residents of East Palestine and the surrounding area, and they've been hugely informative and uh, helping to guide the research. So we now have 380 residents in East Palestine and the general you know, surrounding area that have participated in our health tracking survey. And the and US EPA plan is to did give us a heads up in their report that they handed to me last week. Uh, they said that you have preliminary data that is available now. What did you find so far? Yes, yeah, so I, I want to say that our participants range um, across several counties around the East Palestine area, um, but over half of them live within two miles of the derailment. And we asked the question, uh, did you have any new health symptoms since the derailment. And I wanna say that three out of every four participants had at least one new health symptom. And over half of those were on the upper respiratory airways. And then when we look at the data closer, those who lived within one mile of the derailment site, over 80% of those participants reported a new upper respiratory health symptom. And what will your labs continue to analyze with some of the issues that they've reported back to you? Well, I, we plan to track continually um, the, their experiences of upper respiratory and lower respiratory and all health outcomes that they are experiencing uh, from, from since the derailment and then for years to come. Um, we also plan to continue measuring for stress because uh, stress and PTSD um, were screened for in our study. Um, and we, we continue to see high levels of stress being experienced in the community because of the derailment. When do you think you'll have the final results finished when you look at all the research that you have and you go over everything one more time? Do you think that you'll have a, a lot of data that you'll present? Yes, in fact, I wanna keep giving updates continually about what we find. Um, and we want to grow the study and then open it back up for new people um, as they learn about our ongoing research. Um, if they'd like to uh, participate now, um, we would love to have them into the, the study. Um, and we, we are working hard to get uh, many of these uh, findings published so that we can share you know, every last detail of uh, what we're finding with the public. Now, have any agencies or independent groups asked to refer to your data or use your data for any reason? Well, I want this, the purpose of doing this study was to be meaningful for the community so that they uh, could have um, a research, you know, um, research data to help inform decisions moving forward. So um, it's, I know I've shared this with um, national and federal agencies, and I, I sincerely hope that it's being used to help inform next steps um, to help monitor uh, the health of the residents going forward and to determine new research. Definitely eye-opening information stuff. Everyone wants to know as we get close to the one-year mark, though, we know these health issues probably won't go away in some cases after just one year. So I know you are surveying that and you want to grow this. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Absolutely, thank you.